So why would somebody want to become a tech chair as opposed to a chair with another peer advisory group? I think there's a couple of things that really set us apart. One is how we invest in our chairs. You start with boot camp, five days of intensive training, and there are follow-up clinics. We just did two days with new chairs here at head office, equipping them to understand how to do one-to-ones, how to do issue processing, how to sell and fill their groups, what it means to be a chair. We invest in our chairs to a degree that no other organization does. We are professionally trained. We're taught how to facilitate, how to extract value from the members in the group for the members in the group. We're part of what we call best practice chair regions. So quarterly, we meet together, all the chairs in our region, for a full day of equipping in best practices. So we have ongoing training, ongoing education. People aren't just thrown out alone into the street and say, hey, build a group and run a group. We're taught how to do this. And on an ongoing basis, we're continuing to learn and grow best practices from chairs who've been around for 20 years, from chairs who've been around for five years, from people with all different experience levels. So one, that to me is the most important character quality that sets us apart from every other peer advisory group. And the other thing is, all our speakers are vetted across North America. So we see high-level thought leaders who are vetted to the standards we want, who then head office books for us to come into our groups. So I'm not trying to cobble together some speakers in my local market that I think, oh, this accountant can speak a little bit on succession planning. I have high-level thought leaders that I can bring in from all across North America that my members would never have access to. You want to talk about why you'd want to be a chair with tech as opposed to any other peer advisory group? Those are two massive reasons that makes all the difference.